Hello, today I want to make a video on some math concepts. This is very simple. This is adding numbers together. But I want to show you a few things that will make it kind of easier for you to get your answer a lot quicker than traditional methods. So we're going to do, we're going to add three numbers together. These are going to be three, three digit numbers. Okay, so we're going to add up 375, 861, and 774. So what you're going to do, you're going to look at the number and you're going to start to take away the complements of each number. So the first number is 375 and the complement difference between that number and 400 would be 25. So you simply write down 25 or thank it, write it down if you want. Next you're going to look at 600, excuse me, you're going to look at 861 and you're going to take away a complement of 61 that's going to be 39. So now you're going to add 39 to 25 and of course if you know how to add numbers again you know that's going to be 64 so now you have 64 write it down or hold your head 64 okay for those who are using the memory system that's going to be a, a cherry so you have a chair on top easy to remember that um, next is going to be 774 and the complement of 774 is 26 so now you have 64 and 26 that's going to be 90 so that's 90, or I could be a bus if you're holding to that little that number in your head, 90. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take that number, it's going to be a number you're going to subtract from your total. Now 90 is 10 less than 100. So you're going to be adding 10 to your final total. You're going to be taking away 100, adding 10. So now going back to the original number, you have 375. What you're going to do, you're going to make that into its full number going forward. So that would be 400, but you're going to take away 100 already, right? So just say 300. Next, you're going to take 861. You're going to make that to 900. So you have 300 and 900, 1200. And next, you have 774, which is going to be 800. And so, of course, 8, that makes it 20 or 2000. Okay, so you have 2000 and you add the 10 back. And so now it's 2010, and that's the answer. If you add up the, the old way, you get the same answer. That's a lot faster. Now, look at another way of doing that. This time, you're going to take the same number, and you're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to take each number from the left and add the number up, okay? So you're going to look at the 3, and then you'll say 8, which is 11, and you have seven and that's going to be now before you do that I want you to think of something here I want you to try to use a little bit of uh, intuition when you see an eight and a seven you know it's 15 and then 15 and three is 18 so that's very easy to see the answer is 18 and write that down a whole number in memory 18 next you're going to see the middle number is going to be a seven a six and a seven so of course that's 14 and six is 20 so now what you're going to do, you're going to add the 2 to the 18. So it's going to be 2, 0, and you have 0. So it's just 2, 0, 0, or 200. Next, you're going to add the numbers on the outside, which are going to be um, 6 and 4 is 10. Okay? And so since you have a 10, you add that to the 0, and you have 2, 0, 1, 0, same answer. See how that works? So either way you do it, you're going to find that the answer is correct. And you don't even need to write anything down. You can simply use a little bit of um, noticing numbers, using some memory systems. And it's very easy to do. So once you practice that, write down three-digit numbers, four, anything you want, but start with three. And just do what I did first. First, you want to look at the number and subtract the complements and add those all together. And that's subtract it from your total. And what's left are full numbers, whole numbers. There's nothing left over. Take anything out. And then the second way is start from the left, add all three numbers together, and then you add the next three numbers together and add the, the ones to your number on the left. Again, when you have a zero, you simply cover the zero. So if it was 200, you simply have two zero zero. So then the last number was a 10, and boom, it covered it perfectly. Okay, so thanks for watching and you have a great day.